Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 for another team adventure. This time we are going racing with B-Class cars. They all had to be fitted, well, have to be fitted with sport tyres. So what is often one of the, I say one of the big aspects of a build when you come to this has, has been restricted. The tyres are not going to be great for everywhere. Personally, I tend not to run sport tyres very often for many events. It tends to be rally tyres. B-Class might even often go standard tyres and all-wheel drive and a bit of power and hope that it works. Um, I have gone all-wheel drive. F-155. I haven't really driven this much outside of a 90s showdown we did a while back. My hope is that I will be good. Well, as ever, my hope is I'll be good off-road and I'll be quite good on the tarmac. This is going to be a little bit more of a handling build uh, compared to some, although of course everything is a bit more handling orientated in this. The sport tyres mean your options for power are limited. Yeah, the transit's going to have a lot of a lot of oomph. Of course it is, but it's going to have terrible aerodynamics and it's going to be a wallowy wallowy boat in the corners compared to the likes of a Ferrari and the uh, little Fiat and my Alfa Romeo and stuff like that. We're going to carry great speed through there. This thing does handle very well. Uh, I have put the DTM kit on. Probably not an efficient use of PI. I don't care. I wanted the DTM kit on it, basically. Uh, the A86 is to the lead of the race. Uh, we are three wide heading up towards the final corner here. It's very busy, to say the least. What are the points looking like? It's good for blue team at the moment. Uh, we are through the middle with that uh, Chevy on the outside. We'll duck back into line and have a little bit more power than than we do here. Uh, what can I do about making some progress? I'm almost happy to. Oh, oh! Shiroko made a mistake into turn one, and we're gonna get we're gonna get in trouble from the Shiroko's mistake. That's unfortunate. So the Shiroko, I was trying to set up for a nice get good exit out of turn one. The Shiroko just missed the braking point through there, and uh, unfortunately that one there because. Yeah, the line I want to take through there gives you like a wide line, sort of like swing through the corner, which is great when you're on your own, but if someone makes a little mistake on the brakes, uh, you're going to lose a whole heap of time. Now, this is a really big group of cars. We've got great traction in the Alfa Romeo coming up the hill, of course we do, but we are heavier than that MG, and it's going to shoot off a little bit into the distance. Still a very, very crowded pack. It's like one of the busiest packs of cars at the end of lap two I've ever seen. It's three wide up ahead. I'm pretty sure Turnip was leading the race at one point. It's all fallen apart a little bit for the Toyota. Uh, the couple of cars have fallen off the back of the Datsun and the Scirocco have fallen back. Uh, can we... We, we want to get into the mix here, but where the hell are we going to go? The A86 loses some time through there. We've got a great run through this first corner, but that's going to end in tears. If I keep my nose there, there's not space for that. <laughs> We're marred in traffic. I mean, Blue have got the points for this sewn up quite nicely at the moment. We need a miracle, really, if we're going to do anything here. It's side by side ahead. I've got nowhere to go. I want to get involved in all this, but where the hell do we go? Can we push our Nissan forward maybe a little bit? Longbow's lost a bit of speed. I don't know why the Nissan's suddenly slowed down up there. Maybe some debris that's not there on my end but is on theirs. We are very much stuck in this traffic. Uh, at the moment. There's not much I can do. We've got a quick car here. I, I feel like a lot of us are probably saying a very similar thing. We feel like we've got quick cars. We're just ensnared in traffic. The Ferrari's got a lot of straight line speed. I am at least able to take the line I want through turn one. It's three wide again. The Fiat's going to get a little bit of a squeeze. The two big cars are causing mayhem for everyone here. The Transit and the Chevy have made a massive bottleneck of cars. Here comes the Alpha. With a lot of a lot of speed through the corners, but nowhere to really go with a lot of the speed. But never mind, we shall try and do something here. Um, we are we're in the back of the Nissan here. The Chevy's having a look again. Uh, Chevy, the Fiat's having a look again. The Chevy's still at the lead of this group. Uh, just got nothing. Ah, oh, I think Deathstrike may have missed a checkpoint with the Nissan. Yeah, I've got a lot of pace in this car, but I'm all handling, and all handling is just not working here. And like lap time wise, it could do it, but I just can't deal with the traffic. Annoying, annoying. <laughs> Come on, Alpha. We've got one more lap to go. We definitely have got some speed. I've just got to find somewhere where I can use it. 
Where can we use it? Around the outside here, but then there's going to be a transit in the way as it slides through the corner. Uh, we can probably duck underneath the transit here and then we'll hold it around the outside no problem at all. The transit will probably have to lift. If it doesn't though, it's through this next corner where we will make the lap time up. There we go. We pass the transit. It might not even matter though because the transit's going to get such a better run up the hill. Uh, it's all blue cars ahead of me. I feel like we could have done so much more had we not been ensnared in traffic. Transit may have a look at the final corner. Uh, we'll try and carry momentum on the exit. Oh, the Fiat hit the wall. It's three wide up ahead. Uh, the Transit will hopefully get the Fiat as well. It might get me, it might not. I don't know which way that went. It was going to be very, very close. I think we got the Transit in the end. Oh, uh, we did, just. That was a ridiculous race. Slightly annoying in my car. <laughs> my car had so much speed that I was just completely unable to use I don't think I got a lap where I could really use half the speed it could do. A fun race. Mad, mad race. Not good for Red Team in terms of points, but an entertaining spectacle nevertheless. We head off-road. The Ambleside scramble next. I should be good here. I really hope I should be good here. This car will... Oh, we start on pole as well, even better. I don't know how many vehicles are going to be all-wheel drive. Certainly I know some are rear-wheel drive. Now, on the tarmac races, it won't make a huge difference. Uh, not with this kind of... Not with B-Class with these kind of cars, I wouldn't have thought. Maybe a little bit. Not not crazy crazy big difference. Here, the Alpha should be in a good place. We saw how well it handled. It's all-wheel drive. The tyres are equal. We should be pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost a little disappointed starting on pole in that if this car is good as I hope it is, we might not see anyone else for the rest of the race. Now that is wishful thinking of course, and I can't think too far ahead. Someone else is bound to have all-wheel drive. Let's face it, there's going to be something else all-wheel drive here. Um, it would be madness for only one car to have gone for I mean, I didn't even go for it, that's just how the Alpha is to begin with. I know, well, we know that the uh, Traveller is rear-wheel drive. Those things are unbelievably strong all-wheel drive swaps. Um, don't hit the tree. Avoid that. It's always an important thing. Okay, we lead the way from the Fiat. It's looking a little bit better for Red Team this time around, which is always good. Let's not going to do anything stupid through here. Uh, it's easy. I mean, even with what should be a very quick car. It is easy to make little mistakes. This circuit in particular, missing checkpoints, very, very common. Uh, easy to try and get just a small bit too greedy with the corners, you know, try and make up lap time and all that. Uh, the Fiat is really sideways behind me. <laughs> Maybe that is rear-wheel drive and it's just fast, I don't know. Um, certainly if that's not rear-wheel drive, that is a very big slide for a B-Class uh, all-wheel drive machine. Oh dear. Don't do that. <laughs> the wall is mean. Don't hit the walls. They slow you down quite a lot. Now, we're unlikely to see any that's a crazy, crazy uh, slow vehicles. Often at Ambleside, this is the place where you might see cars get lapped when you have real specialist cars that are not suited to dirt, but no one's car here is really suited to dirt. So the speed differential shouldn't be as crazy big as we have seen sometimes. That clog on the wall actually cost me a fair bit. Uh, you've got to be a bit careful of that one. Uh, it's a real easy, again, a real easy turn in a smidge too soon and get yourself in trouble. The Alpha's quick, but it is not really getting away from the Fiat here. The Italian brand's not... Well, I guess the Fiat known a little bit for their rallying. Uh, not, yeah, not, not the Italian brands you first go to for, for rallying, but... We are leading the way here, and then we have the Mini. We do know the Minis for their rallying, but they've never rallied the Traveller, I don't think. I've seen one race at Goodwood, I think, at the um, Revival. They've had one. I think I've seen, I definitely have seen a Traveller race car. Uh, someone converted one to a race vehicle, because why not? Uh, and I think it was at the Revival. Uh, but there we go. Oh, Fiat's still there. It's still looking. <laughs> not being able to shake it. It's an impressive drive from the 124 here. Uh, we're going to go little wide now where do you pass at this circuit the hairpin's your best bet if there's no mistake turn one is another place we are cleanly through the final corner we've got a good a good gap so turn one it's a place you might have to defend 
and we are thankfully far enough away that we don't have to worry about that. Don't get caught up by the understeer, of course. You have no turning grip because everyone's on the wrong sorts of tyres. Uh, we have got a lap down car that stayed well out of the way, always appreciated. Uh, the other place where you're likely to get a pass if you're going to do it is here, and the Fiat is flying along quite nicely, but <laughs> it tries that sneaky line to the inside, hits the wall, isn't going to get it done. Now you can have a look up the inside here if the car gets a big load of understeer like mine, although often on that wider line you can carry momentum all the way down here. Definitely don't hit the tree. I think we're going to be good. The Fiat's right there. It's on our bumper, but it's run out of laps to do anything. It's a good race between the Alpha and Fiat. We will take victory. Didn't look at the points because we're far too busy looking behind us for all of that. It looks like Red Team are going to be good in this one. I think we may be the only two all-wheel drive cars in the field as the Nissan's rear-wheel drive. The Traveller is also rear-wheel drive. So, okay. The rally stuff, the Alpha can do, but we've certainly got some good Italian competition. We are... Head to the Greendale Club Circuit next. I might have a tough time in this one. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We're starting further down the back. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know. I think the Ferrari is going to be quick around this one. I'm worried about the Ferrari. I say I'm worried about the Ferrari. I don't think I'm going to see it. I think it's going to start. It starts on the second row. I think it's going to go. I don't know about some of the other cars. We'll have to wait and see. I, I fear we're going to be. It's the classic. The classic fail race build of all grip and rallying and just struggles a little bit on tarmac. But you never know. The 155 is not so I many. It's probably one of the less powerful vehicles at 230-ish. Um, certainly power to weight ratio isn't crazy high on this. But it does, it does have good good quarter speed and it does still make half decent top end so we might get away with it a little bit around it. It's certainly going to be the worst car, no. Uh, oh, it's very busy once again through here. We've got the Traveller is around having a look. She's had nowhere to go through this section. You've got to be a little bit patient. You know, It sucks starting down the back of the field. It does happen sometimes and when that one does occur you've just got to be a little patient. You know, like I know that even if I had the fastest car in the field Starting down here, my chances of winning are slim. It's just because you're going to lose time working your way through the field, and that's fine when it works itself out and the game is even with its random grid starts. Uh, Red Team are not going to be winning this one, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh dear. Um, well, we're going to need a miracle if we are going to win this one. Yeah, see, we don't get dropped too much down the straight, even with our lack of power. The Chevy... I mean, we would compare to the like, like some sort of Ferrari, but could be a lot worse for me down the straights. Uh, we can carry a lot of speed into here. What can we do about getting past though? It's just too wide everywhere. It makes it very difficult for even a quick 155 to find a way past. I think we can go around the outside of the Scirocco here. Just take that wider line indeed we can. Uh, now every position at least here we're gaining is against the blue team car which will be giving us some tasty tasty points. That's what we like to see. They've all got themselves into trouble through there. Uh, 155 is going to sweep its way through these corners. We might get to the inside. Oh, okay. Well, we got. To, I was trying to go to the inside of the Fiat, and then there was trying to shoot between the Fiat and the Chevy and try to find a gap that's a very difficult gap to aim for. May have ended up a little bit too much into the door of the Fiat. Uh, that's a very, yeah. That was an iffy, uh, an iffy guesswork. Um, now, can you see, they don't quite catch as fast as I would... Expect. So the Trans has got good speed, but not good top speed, because the Trans has got good acceleration, sorry, but terrible top speed, because it's a brick. It has no aerodynamics at all, so to speak. Uh, so that's its downfall around this circuit. It's got, yeah, it's got the acceleration, but not the top end, and not the handling either. Can we catch the MG before the end of the race? That's the question, really, for me. I feel like we have got pace again around this track this time rather than just stuck in, well, a little bit stuck in traffic just trying to climb over everything has caused us some grief here. Uh, we head around the penultimate corner now. It is a good run from us. Can we sit in the draft? We should get towed along. Trans is going to punch a lovely hole in the air for the Alfa Romeo to follow and there'll be at some point there'll be the changeover point as the Transit hits its aero 
limit basically and it is still its aero limit is still faster than my top speed <laughs> uh, well I say top speed officially this thing well, the game records can do 150 it just takes a very very long time to get there uh, don't tell me we're gonna get stuck looking at the back of a transit again I don't want to be stuck looking at the back of a transit no oh, yeah we're gonna get stuck looking at the back of a transit no maybe not is that a big slide <laughs> thank you I'll take my opportunities when they present themselves Again, I'd love to know lap times. I don't think I've got an answer for the Mustang in terms of the lap time, but Longbow's Ferrari is getting closer to us, as is the Nissan. I feel like maybe me and the MG have got some quite serious pace around here, but just starting that, that much further back in the pack has not helped us, and I had a really bad line on the start-finish straight. Can we do anything with one lap to go? Not unless there's shenanigans up ahead. Unless, unless something goes on, I think we're going to be in this little group, but I don't think there's going to be many changes. Maybe the Chevy might pass the transit, but that's about it. The MG a little further away this time, after that bad end of lap for me. Oh, bad start to lap as well. Yeah, and I'm just overdriving it, trying to find some lap speed at the end here, because I haven't really got much prospects of oh, moving up. <laughs> More likely to fall back, maybe don't do that. I say this every time. <laughs> I'm, I'm really bad for saying, right, we need to not do anything stupid while continuing driving on 100% maximum attack. I only have that setting, I'm afraid. I know I shouldn't, but sometimes that's just how my brain works. Uh, MG is out wide. I'm going to go a little bit wide as well. See, I'll get away with that a little bit better than the MG. Yeah, it's just a line of cars. Everyone is very evenly matched and no one's really catching each other. I had a better lap that time, and as expected, the only position of change was the one behind us. Hmm. Okay. It felt like a decent enough car, but a difficult start meant we just lost too much time early on. And then we did a bit of a follow the leader towards the end of that race. Blue team, they will take the victory. We really need to win next time out, basically. We are back off-road next. The Mortimer Gardens scramble. Uh, not as technical in many respects as the scramble side circuit, however, I mean, it's still dirt, there's a little water section that could work well for my AF, could work well for the transit actually, that's about the only thing that's going to have ground clearance in this field. Sadly, I'm down the back and possibly my biggest rival starts on the front row. Now, it's not impossible, but my car's going to have to be good if if we're able to do this. My car's going to have to be good, I'm going to have to be good. Also difficult. We'll launch well, be all-wheel drive, you know, that's always helpful here. Um, can we take a sneaky line off of the bridge? I feel like this is the sort of car that we could do it in. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a little close. Just a smidge as the sparks go off the car as I hit the monument. Yeah, it's a little, a little dicey. Okay, so the Fiat hasn't bolted. The Fiat maybe didn't have the best of starts or whatever. The Fiat hasn't got a big runaway at the moment. Now that is what I'd like to see. Am I better through the water than these other cars? The Transit's not good. I thought the Transit might do it with uh, the ground clearance, but I think the Transit suspension is too wallowy. Uh, I was in a rush. Sorry for the lean. I figured the Transit could deal with it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the transit suspension so wallowy that the bumps actually throw it about so much that that ride, ride height is no good, or is, is of no real use. Any time gained is immediately lost. Nissan is to the front of the pack at the moment. Uh, let's see how long that can hold on. Maybe we don't go for the sneaky line. It's a line I'll probably do if I'm overtaking or trying to overtake a car. Uh, if not, maybe it's not worth it. Not worth the risk, almost. So, this is where the traction of the all-wheel drive will help a little bit. I mean, this is not the most kind of traction-limiting circuit, if you will. Um, yes, of course, it's always going to help a bit on the gravel, but this section here is going to be flat out for everybody. You know, it's just a straightforward... I say it's a straightforward drive. Yes, you've got to worry about the uh, water section and everything, but still. Uh, we've had a good lap here. We're up to the back end of the Fiat... Nissan is going to pull away down the tarmac section, I would imagine. I don't know whether I have more grip. I presume I have more grip than the Nissan through these corners, but again, it's flat out all the way up here. Uh, where are we? You know, this is where we might take a th have a think, go for that alternate line off of the bridge. The reason why you do this is you can set it up 
for the corner at the bottom, but we're not quite close enough to try it. Uh, maybe we can duck underneath it. That, that corner here, this traction zone, that's where the big difference will come in with the 155 here. Uh, we'll clonk the lamppost out of the way, that's all good. Uh, too far back to do anything through here, barring mistakes of course. Nissan dives into the water. Again, Red Team much better suited to the off-road stuff here. We've got the cars that are working uh, out here. Uh, we're a little... I was going wide of the lamppost and then one of the cars ahead knocked it over, so I was not really as wide of it as I wanted to be. But never mind, that's what it is. Uh, points are really close. <laughs> so Red Team have got... They were definitely better on these off-road circuits, but it's not going to be straightforward, that's for sure. Uh, the Nissan dives into turn one. I mean, we're again going to try this. I'm, I'm just trying something different. It's not a little too far back again. Fiat, I think, has got the measure a little bit in places. Now the Fiat's all boxed in by the Nissan. The Nissan gets a big slide. We're trying to go around the outside. Oh, it's not worked. The Fiat has got to the lead of the race, and that we can't have happen here. Uh, this is really good through the water. I think I was in the wrong gear for that. This is surprisingly good through there. Maybe just sheer power in the Nissan is working. See, it's going to be quick up here. I need. I really want the Nissan to get in front of that fix. I need it to slow it down for turn one, but it isn't going to do it, I don't think. And if it, st the, if it stays like that, I don't think and this, this can have a big dive at the first corner and carry a lot of speed which it tries but it just can't do uh, we are coming off that bridge but it's, nah, it's not going to work we're not going to be able to do anything this has done really well in all of this being a rear wheel drive car can we get this pass to stick I think we might do Yeah, that Fiat has got some pace in these dirt, these dirt events we may get repassed by that Nissan with its straight line speed. Yeah, it changed down to third works through that water. Uh, oh, Fiat's gone very wide. I wasn't close enough to capitalise though. <laughs> That's annoying. Ah, damn it. Yeah, couldn't quite do it. We needed to get past the Fiat and then we had to get past the Fiat first and then deal with the Nissan. Unfortunately, we just couldn't do it and once the Fiat's got clear, can't catch it. Good race, really, really good race in that one. Sort of tactical battles. Again, it's a one-two for the Italian cars. Listen, does very well up in third. Points have sadly ebbed away from us towards the end of that one. Damn it! Clutie, <laughs> we're going to win overall. We had some some close action in that one, certainly. Again, I'm still enjoying the 155. It's been a great car to drive. So, for the final round, we head to the Edinburgh Station Circuit. Could be a good track for me. This could be the kind of circuit that my car works at. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I think we may continue to get a little bit frustrated in traffic. We have a nice spot on the grid. So we'll at least launch well and then see what happens after that, really. Uh, hopefully we can do well, basically. Hopefully we can get a victory for Red Team. I think it's going to be a difficult one to pull off. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, you never know, but... Uh, yeah, let's go find out what can happen. We launch off the line nicely for the Alfa Romeo, of course. We can get through these first couple of corners well. If we can come out of all of this with a lead, that would be lovely. Whether we can beat the Traveller to this next corner, I don't know. Okay, did not want second gear for that. Third is where it is going to be at for that. Okay, we've got the lead of the race. That's helpful. Uh, can we hold on to it. So, as I said, this car is all about the handling. Third gear is what we want through there. Oh, the Traveller is going to look to the outside. Now, this is going to be an awkward thing for that for that Morris. Uh, it's not going to quite go around the outside there. Because we have good, we have got good grip. We haven't got infinite amounts of grip in this, of course. <laughs> Let's not forget. Acceleration is where we're going to get beaten by the Morris, but it runs out of acceleration quite quickly, and they're all in a big mesh behind us, and that's what I want to see. I want to see the quick cars stuck in that traffic. We'll be good out of the final corner, I should think. Yeah, I want to see that group fighting. If a get, group gets organised and they send one car at a time after the Alfa Romeo, then we might be in trouble. But, if they're all fighting two and three wide, and they're going to lose that time early on, and hopefully we can escape away at the front a little bit. 
Who knows? It's a bit of a mess <laughs> in the mid-pack. It's not looking good for Red Team in terms of the old points, mind, but... Oh, that's too much speed through there. Too much understeer. Uh, I had to go around the back end of that. If I, if I hadn't gone around the back of the fencing, we would have lost more time going through it, so... Made an executive decision. Okay, can't get away with that. I also can't get away with that in the Alpha. We're doing a little bit of wall bouncing. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus, the travel is so... It's so quick off the corners. It dies a little bit, but that's got so much acceleration that I just cannot match. That is going to be difficult to pass now. And that's all on me. I shouldn't have uh, made silly mistakes like we did. Uh, okay, get the change of direction. Now, the Morris can be street sweeper. That works for me. It really does work for me. Do we go for the... I'm... Yeah. We're, we're, we're going for the bravery line because I've got to do... I've got to throw everything at this if we're going to get back past. Uh, we know we struggle a little bit through this corner. This time we get it right, though. We can try and cut back underneath the Traveller up the hill. It's still going to be on the wrong line, but my plan is really, at the moment, make the Morris take funky lines. Hope that it gets into trouble somewhere and that we can then capitalise on that. We're right on the bumper the whole way through this lap and we're going to lose out here. This is the one bit of the lap that we can't match it on. Uh, we can match it everywhere else. In fact, we are quite a long way clear of the rest of the pack. Alright, how are we going to pass it? Where are we going to pass it? Out of the final corner, it gets very, very squirrely for that car. Uh, try to set it up nicely through turn sort of one, turn two, and then maybe at turn three if we take the sneaky... It's a risk. It is a risk taking that line. They saw me do it last time, but they can't hold as much speed as the Alfa Romeo does through there. The 155 is back to the lead of the race. But we were here before and I messed it up. Let's try and make sure we don't do a similar thing again. We've got massive speed at the bottom of the hill there. Up towards this double left-hander, and I'm a little wide on the way in, but we can be fast on the exit, yeah, if we can just carry the corner speed that that car cannot. Now, I say that, of course, and then we have to be aware how quick it is down this section of track. This is the bit where it makes all its lap time up. As long as I'm ahead with a little bit of a margin, I think I can defend into this final corner, because I can get off the corner so much better. We have the traction that the traveller does not and we will be, although it's better this time around. Now, of course, I am the street sweeper through all of this. Uh, we keep it in third through there. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Yeah, looks like we've still got a gap. We are kind of going to have to go for this line, because if I don't, I think the Morris is going to. And, yeah, it just can't maintain the speed. We're well clear of the rest of the field here. The pair of us are a little bit unmatched around this circuit. The Chevy's in third ahead of the Fiat. <laughs> it looks like an epic battle. We've had a great battle, actually, up here at the front of the uh, of the Fiat. It looks like a great battle going on for third, fourth, and all of those places as well. The Mini is closer than it has been, which is scary. Because uh, this is very, very, very quick. It is on... Oh, no, it's behind us. This is going to be an interesting final corner. Do we have to defend? How close is it going to be? We're going to make it go the outside. I'd be surprised if we can get off the final corner. Yeah, it wanted to cut back underneath. We just parked it on the apex. Oh, we got street furniture. No, Forza, screw you. Screw you, Forza. <laughs> I'm not happy with that one. I'm, I'm not happy with that one. Uh... We did exactly what we had to do. We parked it on the inside. The Morris gave us a bump and put us into the street furniture, which then just killed all of the momentum. I mean, I could have put it in the wall moving across. It has so much more acceleration than me moving across. Would have pretty much just put it in the wall. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thank you, Forza, for that one. That's very annoying. The Alpha's good, though. The Alpha, I mean, well, you always like to be a strong car. And sure enough, as soon as you get someone with some handling, it's very good. Get stuck in traffic is its downside, really. Um, that can happen with these sorts of these sorts of builds. But, yeah, I did, I did certainly enjoyed the 155. That, though, is going to be it for this, for this video. 
if you would like to sign up to take in take part in the next one of these, you can via our Discord. There'll be a link in the description find them versus the community sign up section and you can register to take part in there that though is going to be it from me thank you all very much for watching and until next time a goodbye <laughs>